everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have a new set of pod lights from our friends over at Novsite. These are gonna be the two inch Cyber One spotlights. Now, the difference between the spotlights um, and the floodlights that I currently have on the truck, and I'll put a picture right here, is the spotlights travel much further in uh, their light, their ability to light up the road further down the way, whereas the floodlights light up a general area, the spotlights are able to project their beam much further. And as always, Novsite has very nice packaging um, for your budget-friendly pod lights. Um, this is a great option. So let's go ahead and get into it, see what's in the package, and we'll go from there. So if you're gonna open up our package here, you're gonna get a nice large <laughs> installation manual. Um, these are very easy to install. You have a plug and play wiring harness almost every time with Novsite. They provide that for you. Um, so it looks like uh, the wiring harness is gonna be the same one I have on the truck already, which is gonna be really easy for us to really just unplug the three inch uh, Cyber ones I have on now and plug these in. So you're gonna have the standard tip, you're gonna have the standard, um, you're gonna go to your po uh, positive, go to your negative, and you have a relay, and it has the standard um, on and off button, which is easy for us there. Knob sight is brilliant in the fact that they have removable lenses. This is bar none the most genius idea I've, I've seen because these lenses pop on and pop off with ease. There's no fighting, no breaking fingernails, no having to get a freaking flat blade and, and pry it off. It is just so simple. So in this package here, we've got one of the lights. Let's uh, go ahead and pop this off for you. Just like I said, very easy to get off. Remove this and here you have your light. So beautifully done, plenty of cooling fins, very well made. Um, it's hard to believe that these are actually budget friendly because they're a quality light. Now what I mean by how easy this is, is you just slide this on here and that's it. And in order to take them off, you just pop them off. And I am a huge fan of the ability to pop these on and off. I've had multiple different versions of lights and they're very difficult to get them off or they get stuck or whatever reason they can't. And again, with this one too, all you gotta do is slide it on and now you have an amber, an amber beam. So could not get any easier than that folks. Um, we're gonna go ahead and bring these outside and we're gonna test them once we're done. Of course, you get the standard uh, mounting hardware And um, let me see here. Am I crazy? Or is... I was like, where are the mount at? <laughs> and you have your mount in here, uh, which was hiding from me. I was like, where are these mounts at? Um, so these lights, we're gonna go ahead and install them. We're heading up to Bald Mountain and that's where we're gonna test them. So I'm gonna show you a brief install on how I have my wires already situated inside my engine bay. And then we'll go ahead and just do a quick install. And all this is is attach the mount and you, you screw it onto your mount that's on your vehicle and you, you plug this wire in and you turn it on. It is that simple and uh, let's go see how it is. I just wanted to show you the difference here. These are the 4.5s versus the 3 inch floodlights. So there is quite a significant difference there. You've got huge spotlights um, versus uh, the right which are those uh, 3 inch floodlights. So you can kind of see the difference here as I'm uh, looking. All right, everyone, so just so we can see here, um, I wired the wiring harness in through here. My relay is sitting off to the side here. You're gonna link the red cable to the positive terminal and the black cable to the negative. 
I kind of have my um, one of my uh, outlets here sitting right here because I'm going to link it up there. I ran my cable up underneath this main part and as you can see I have this one sitting right here um, and if you can see over here I ran my it's down there through the firewall let me show you more in depth can see up here this is the firewall right there and that is where I ran my initial wire and then of course I ran it through here and again from there I ran that directly through there and it punches out on the other side of here and that's where I have my switch right there. So we're gonna go ahead and do this install right up on our mounts. All right, so you're gonna need a half inch wrench. Installed. They're looking good. All right, now that we have it hooked up, let's see if this will actually fire up. Oh yeah. All right, so from here, you just repeat the process on the other side and let's hook it up. Hey everybody, welcome back. So here we are, we're up at Bald Mountain. And we're gonna go ahead and test these lights. So I'm gonna pull out into the road and we're gonna see how bright these lights really are.
This is how bright these lights are. It's like a spotlight. Oh. And as you can see, it's really dark out there. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. All right, y'all. So you can see here that these lights are super bright. Um, you can adjust the beam to wherever you need to, and their projection is crazy far. Um, this is what you'd want um, as maybe like a driving light or anything. So these are not a floodlight. These are these are spotlights. So the light is concentrated in one general area, as you can see in front of us. The light is concentrated ahead of us, um, and where you can mainly see this is is going to be when we head back out here a second. We're gonna show you back on the road. Once we get out on the road here, you'll kinda see what I'm talking about as far as how far these project. Look at that. Yeah. Look at these things. I'm gonna point them right here. Down the road here. I'm gonna adjust them. Cause they're up a little high. So these lights are crazy. They go crazy far. You can see the two concentrated beams right from here. You can go ahead and look directly at those. Pretty cool. Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're here testing out these um, four and a half inch uh, spotlights. So the one thing I did notice is with the amber covers, they're not as bright as I was expecting them to be. They're still a good amber light, but they don't project as far as that LED. And that's to be expected, but um, maybe if you go ahead and turn around. So this is where they're projecting out, right? So let me just change uh, this pop, I'm just going to pop this off and see the, the, uh, there's a big difference right here. You can see this uh, as far as the spotlight. Let me show you this. But you notice how it reduces that uh, light quite a bit rather than when you pop this off. I mean, these lights are bright. You can see pretty much anywhere I move it, which is really cool. And that's the goal of a spotlight. Um, overall, these lights are really awesome. They're very bright. The amber does reduce the brightness um, on it a little bit, as you can see. But if you are using these as driving lights and the amber lights, they don't need to project out as far and you're good to go and you're cutting through the elements regardless. So um, again, these are a spotlight. So you know, just like you've seen, they're gonna specifically spot you on whatever you're looking at, whether you're driving and you want them to project out. So don't expect these to be a floodlight, but these are a great spotlight for when you are driving. 
Um, so we did try these on the trail. I do prefer a floodlight on the trail, but that's just me. So I would use these as a driving light um, just as they're being used. Now, if I want, again, them to project out, I probably project them out and down, angle them down on the road a little bit so I can see them. But these are great plug and play and easy, easy to set up. You basically plug and play harness, you hook them up and you gotta mount them on your truck and you are good to go. So I will link everything here that we've talked about, um, including my mount and the light in the description. Thank you for watching and go out and pick yourself up a pair of knob sight anything. These are one of the best budget ditch lights, pod lights that you can buy on the market. Thanks for watching.